Hello my dear students welcome you all today i am going to discuss about phytosomes these are also known as herbosomes basically these are split into two parts like phyto phyto means plant and zome means cell like structure so these are originated from plant extracts and its shape is cell like structure so let us now discuss in detail about phytosomes it is also mentioned as herbosomes as i said earlier this is a new patented technology where standardized plant extracts or water soluble phytoconstituents phytoconstituents means Uh, the constituents from herbal origin or from plants are complexed with phospholipids to produce lipid compatible molecular complexes thereby greatly increasing absorption and bioavailability the term phyto means plant while zome means cell like structure phytosomes are little cell like structure phytosomes are novel drug delivery system containing bioactive phytoconstituents of herbs surround and bound by phospholipids phytomedicines are complex chemical mixtures prepared from plants water soluble phytoconstituents like flavonoids are poorly absorbed so here we will now discuss about the difference between liposome and phytosomes let us now discuss by this structure so liposome basically contains water soluble free drug in the core and also contain phosphatidylcholine whereas in case of phytosome there are the complexes made up of phospholipid phosphatidylcholine and drug means phosphatidylcholine and drug complexes are there in phytosomes whereas water soluble free drug is encapsulated in the aqueous core and surrounded by the phosphatidylcholine in case of liposomes so this is the basic difference between liposome and phytosome structure method of preparation means how can be prepare the phytosomes phytosomes are prepared by reacting natural or synthetic phospholipids with active components like bioflavonoid flavolignin and polyphenolic constituents solvent evaporation method is most common technique used for the preparation of phytosomes common stages of preparations these are some of the steps to prepare phytosomes first we take phospholipids solution of phospholipids in organic solvent with drug extract and then we will dry and the formation of film film upon hydration we will get phytosomal suspension advantages of phytosomes phytosomes enhances the absorption of lipid insoluble polar phytoconstituents through oral as well as topical route showing better bioavailability hence significantly greater therapeutic benefit as the absorption of active constituents is improved its dose requirement is also reduced phosphatidylcholine in the preparation of 
in the preparation of phytosomes acting as a carrier also acts as hepatoprotective hence giving the synergistic effect when hepatoprotective substances are employed chemical bonds are formed between phosphatidylcholine molecule and phytoconstituents so the phytosomes show better stability profile added nutritional benefit of phospholipids it assures proper delivery of drug to the respective tissues the nutrient safety of the herbal extracts need not be compromised by conveying the herbal drug as means of phytosomes entrapment efficiency is high and more over predetermined because drug itself is in conjugation with lipids in forming vesicles there is no problem in drug entrapment while formulating phytosomes phytosomes are also superior to liposomes in skin care products let us now discuss about the properties of phytosomes chemical properties phytosome is a complex between a natural product and natural phospholipids the phytosome complex is obtained by reacting or the reaction of suitable amounts of phospholipid and the substrate in an appropriate solvent such as glycerol the main phospholipid substrate interaction is due to the formation of hydrogen bonds between the polar head of phospholipids and the polar functionalities of the substrate when treated with water phytosomes assumes a micellar shape forming liposomal like structure biological properties phytosomes are advanced form of herbal products that are better absorbed utilized and as a result produce better results than conventional herbal extracts phytosomes are lipophilic substances with definite melting point freely soluble in nonpolar solvents and moderately soluble in fats phytosomes can accommodate the active principle that is anchored to the polar head of the phospholipids which finally becomes an integral part of the membrane the bioavailability of phytosome over complex botanical derivatives has been demonstrated by pharmacokinetics studies or by pharmacodynamic test in experimental animals and in human subjects applications there are a lot of applications of phytosomes are enhancing bioavailability antioxidant properties used as hepatoprotectives used in transdermal applications and also used in cancer treatment let us now discuss in detail about the applications of phytosomes selimerin phytosome most of the phytosomes are focused to selimerin or selibum marianum which contains premier liver protective flavonoids the fruit of the milk thistle plant contains flavonoids known for hepatoprotective effects selimerin has been shown to have positive effects in treating liver diseases of various kinds including hepatitis cirrhosis fatty infiltration of the liver and inflammation of the bile duct another example of phytosome phytosome of grape seeds grape seed phytosome is composed of oligomeric polyphenols of varying molecular size complexed with phospholipids the main properties of 
procyanidin flavonoids of grape seed are an increase in total antioxidant capacity and stimulation of physiological defenses of plasma another example is phytosome of green tea green tea leaves is characterized by presence of a polyphenolic compound epigallocatechin 3 ogallate as the key component these compounds are potent modulators of several biochemical processes linked to the breakdown of hemostasis in major chronic degenerative diseases such as cancer and atherosclerosis let us now discuss about phytosomes of curcumin metan it all developed the phytosomes of turmeric curcuma longa phytosome of naringenin produced better antioxidant activity than the free compound with a prolonged duration of action so it was all about phytosomes thank you all for watching this video if you like this video please hit the like button subscribe our channel pharma wins and press the bell icon to get all the notification or to get all the educational video updates. Thank you.